Hi guys, welcome back to Marsha's Mush and Stuff. And today I have another Dollar Tree haul for you guys. It was spur of the moment. I was actually on my way to the grocery store, stopped in to pick up a few essentials, honestly, and was amazed at what all they had. And like I tell you, even if you don't need it now, grab it when you see it. If you don't, you'll be like me and regret it later. So without further ado, let's just jump on in. We will start with a, a few things, uh, Valentine's Day-ish, but actually I wanted to do this for you. So if you remember picking these up at Christmas time, they had this little holly berry in them. And it was simply just poked through the little jute cord right there, and that's how it looked. I removed that so I could put it up on my mantle and keep it out year round. So, repurposing Dollar Tree items that are already done for you. So, this is a cute DIY in itself, but how cute is that? And then when Christmas is over, or <laughs> when Christmas comes back around, I will just simply put it back through or do something else. Who knows? <laughs> but wanted to share that idea with you. It's not just Christmas and put away. It's the black and white buffalo check, which is ever so farmhouse and popular. So with that being said, I will show you just a few Valentine's Day items because today is January 14th. So we have 30 days until Love Day. So, I did go ahead and, <clears throat> excuse me, I picked up some of the heart confetti. So, it doesn't say how much you get, but there's a lot of hearts, my friends. Yes. And they're super cute. They're, I think they're all different designs. They are. Some are hollow. Some are not. You see that there. That one's hollow. That one's solid. They're just too cute. If you see these, grab them. They're great just to have in your craft stash. But I'm thinking about <clears throat> a song and doing a DIY with that in mind. So with that said, remember the fortune cookies I showed you for Valentine's Day that you just break open, you pull out the notes? Guys, It this is all it is. Can you see the two dots of glue? right here it is a piece of round foam so after I give those gift those to my grandchildren I'm gonna be like hey if you don't want that foam can I have it back because perfect for DIYs and I believe it was a 12 count of these little circles so much you could do with that so just keep that in mind again repurposing using what you already have <clears throat> so that you don't have to keep buying and again I don't want you guys to think that this is a one-time purchase for me I spread my hauls out and just kind of combine them collectively I may only spend six dollars at one store and maybe 13 at another and I just combine it so there you go <laughs> And again, on Saturdays, my aunt comes up and we make a day out of going to various different Dollar Trees, whether it be close or a little further away, like you saw in my last walkthrough when I went to the bigger Dollar Tree. And that one is by far the best in my area. But I did find these cute little gnome socks. I have a walkthrough video. I don't know which you'll see first, this or the walkthrough, probably the walkthrough so that you can see everything there. But how cute are those? And in doing the editing of the walkthrough, I realized these would be adorable. I should have picked up two, but you know, trying to stay budget friendly. Um, these, these would be great to make your own gnomes. I thought, how cute would that be? You know, because, I mean, they're just gray on the back side. So, you only have the print on the front. And then it has the uh, pink heel. And it's, here, we'll just open it. 
the pink toes too. They say, be mine. So there you go. So yeah, they have the pink toe, the pink heel, and a cute little gnome. <laughs> Cannot find these anywhere. That's why I'm thinking of making my own and just doing it myself because I think that would be even more special. Although those little plushies are adorable. <laughs> and if I do find them, I will pick them up. But if I can't find them, it is okay. Moving right along, we're going to go to the makeup department. So, stunned. Stunned. I can never find my color. And being that it's winter and my daughter and I actually went walking yesterday. So, yay. Yay. But again, not getting much color. I don't wear a lot of makeup anymore, but they have this Wet n Wild Stick Foundation, and it is in my color. It says Cream Beige right there. So, hope you can see that. They had several different ones, but guys, I'm going to tell you when you, it's the Photo Focus. So, Photo Ready. Um, I've seen these in higher-end makeup, but these are great. It's a stick foundation. I'll let you know how well these work. I absolutely loved the cushion foundation that they put out last summer. It worked well, and I am still using it. Yes. So, how cool is that? And then again, if you saw the thumbnail, I hope it captured it. I ran across the ugly dolls. How stinking cute are these guys? So I picked up one for my granddaughter and you can see there on top what she looks like. And then again on the back, they just had this little kind of like a keychain, but you could snap these to your backpack. But these retail at Walmart for like $6, you guys. So to get a few for, I don't even think I picked up six. I think I just got four or five of them. I want to say five, but I can't find the other. Maybe I just grabbed four. But here are, here is that one. Is he not stinking adorable? And these are by Hasbro. That is absolutely impressive. Here are the other two I grabbed, again, for my grandchildren. I told you I start shopping for Christmas as soon as it's over, and birthday gifts, it's great just to have on hand, and at a dollar, you absolutely cannot beat it, guys. Are those not adorable? Love, love these. If you see these, you having a little one in your life, grab one or just to put in a birthday box or a gift box. I've been doing that for years and I've never had to stress when it comes to holidays or came to holidays or birthdays because I knew I had something, at least something to give. With that being said, we're going to go into some Easter <laughs> decor. Again, no particular order, but how cute are these? And you guys, you get six of these. And that looks like yarn. And, I mean, this looks a little like the raffia. You know, it's a little cheaper looking, but you guys, I was just at Hobby Lobby last night after my daughter and I walked. It's on the way home. Stopped in there. They had the same thing, and even at 40% off, it would not be a dollar. I'm just telling you, you know, I thought about grabbing a few things because of the sale, but I was like, no, no can't do it can't spend that much money when I know I can get it for so much cheaper so grab that passed over these the first time I saw them it's not like we celebrate 
um, I mean, we wear green, obviously, on St. Pat Patrick's Day, St. Patty's Day, however you want to say it. But these were too cute. And again, the signs, you guys, you just can't go wrong with them. But love all the sayings. And my daughter loved these. She could actually gotten one from, I think, Target at um, Thanksgiving. And it was very similar. And once she told me that during our walk, I picked her up one as well. And one for me, just to be festive. Or again, to turn over and do whatever I want to it. This one kind of looks like a puzzle. So <laughs> you would probably have to remove that clover and then you wouldn't have that protruding out right there. But there is that. And stay tuned because I have some awesome gardening items. So I did go ahead. These are just the... Um, 8 by 10 canvases. I know every one of you have seen these, but these are perfect to DIY. You can remove the canvas, you can leave the canvas. There's so many options of how to do these. People make windows out of these, so I did go ahead and grab a few because um, I'm going to make my own window. Yes, I am. So there is those. So, sorry. And oh, one more Valentine's Day thing. So they had these like laser cut hearts. These are beautiful. Wish they were a little bit smaller, but that is a-okay. And you do get, was supposed to be five piece sets, but they gave you eight. And again, saw these at Hobby Lobby. I don't think they had the hole in them, or they, they may have. I can't remember, but they definitely were not a dollar, you guys. So cute. And then moving right along, because I do have a 30-day 30 30 day water challenge going on right now as we speak, and my co-host, I'll link that video below, but every time I see these, I grab them. It's the Nestle Splash, and it is the six-pack. Now, Dollar Tree tries to pull a fast one on us sometimes and only give you four. I saw that today, and I skipped over those. But they had these on the bottom shelf, and I was like, yes, thank you, please. I will take those for a dollar because these are more at Walmart. So I actually grabbed a 12 no, I'm sorry. I grabbed the case, 24. So, I grabbed a total of 24 of these guys. You can't go wrong. Zero calories, zero sugar, and it is in the grape flavor. But I like it just as well. It's actually what I am drinking at the moment. And this is my fourth. So, 64 ounces in today. Yay. And then also for my pup I did grab these healthy max for hip and joint um, I give him usually the ones for his skin but since he's getting up there in age I thought these would be perfect he's getting gray guys yeah he's about eight years old his name is Dexter and sometimes you guys in my crafty videos you've seen him in the background or even heard him <laughs> But I'm surprised he's not going crazy right now. Both he and my cat, Pickles, and from my dad, may he rest in peace, I inherited her. They are both in the chair. He is in the chair and she is on the arm of the chair. But how cool are these? And I don't know how many you get, but it's four ounces and and it's quite a bit, honestly. I mean, they come to about right there. And they're that big. So, you see that there. Again, sorry about my nails. I, I really need to use the nail polish remover that I have in my closet. And then, for the grand finale, you guys. This was the most exciting part today. And I think my favorite 
finds of the day as well. I found the strawberry grow kit. And if I can grow my own strawberries, I am all about that. It says includes pot seeds, growing medium, and instructions. So, I mean, you get the container and the seeds. I don't believe you get the dirt. You don't. <laughs> so, I think these are a little different than the rockets, but how cool are those? So, if you watch my walkthrough video, I show you each and every one that they had. They had all of them and tons of flower ones as well. They even had a sunflower one, but I skipped that one. Just really like the strawberry one. Don't have um, space. I do live in a duplex, so, you know, yards are shared, so I don't have space to do like a whole garden section and I don't even know that that would be allowed here but you know, anyway that could be grown inside or I'll take it out to my daughter's house and let her try her hand at it so not quite sure what I'm going to do with it yet but we are going to get some strawberries my friend and then these, so I have been seeing these all over YouTube. These are the plant hangers. And guys, they're macrame. These are so like boho chic. I absolutely love them. They're quite long actually. So, I mean, but you get the gist. I've seen several people make these. I cannot macrame. My mother could, but I cannot. But how cute is that for a dollar? So I grabbed two, one for myself, one for my daughter. And then they had the plant clips, 20 of them. If I see the tomato rockets again, I am going to snatch them up. And if I see the um, tomato cages, I am going to grab them as well. You get 20 pieces in here. There's two sizes. There's one that's two and three six inches, and the other 10 piece set is 1.57 inches. So you can see the big ones in the middle and the small ones over here and here. So you get 10 big, 10 small. That is a great find. We don't, once these come, guys, they're gone. They don't come back. I never see them, never saw them last year. And as often as I go into various Dollar Trees, you, I, I would have seen these and I never did. So yeah, I'm gonna grab the tomato cages the next time I see them. I'm shocked I didn't, and shocked that I didn't get the tomato grow kit or rocket. But oh my goodness, I did not think that we would get these. Sometimes my stores are considered low sellers. They're not top selling stores. It's all about location, location, location. So. If it's near a mall, it is usually a high selling store and they get more of the products, more of the items, they get more cases to where the one right down the road from me, which is one of my absolute favorites and where I got all these things today, but it's considered a low selling store. And I don't know why, because there is not a moment that you don't hear that register ringing constantly and they are super busy so I don't know but Dollar Tree send more because we love it and uh, this store right down the road is so busy it's phenomenal but you guys check it out it's a two-pack decorative lid so can you see the flowers there so you make your own flower arrangements whether it be real or fake it doesn't matter but you just pop these on to a a jar a mason jar and you poke your florals through them so they had this design and they had these little 
screen designs and you get two in a pack of these as well these are my favorite because i do tend to do a lot of floral arrangements um and i just think these with the smaller holes will be better for what i do than the larger ones but could not leave these i do believe they were just stocked very bad filming in the walkthrough because I had to bend down to go through them all. But I did pick up two of those. Actually, three. <laughs> and then they had this other style. You only get one of it, so I just grabbed one. But you can see there on the picture, you can hang it. So you just screw it on and hang your florals. I mean, you could do so much. You could... Do like a little it's just called a hanging lid but you could do so many different things you could put rocks or sand in there i make a candle and hang it on your patio you know you see the little chain there and last but not least my friends let me show you these also something i have never seen before not in my store Yes, these, they are stackable. And I'm gonna show you here on the front. Can you see that picture? How well they stack on top of one another. So I just picked up these today. Again, I don't know how, um, how they exactly stack. I haven't even tried it out, but I did something like that. Yes, that's exactly how it goes. So, there you see. And I got three of them. Because that is too cool. I love to plant fresh flowers and put them on a porch. And how stunning. And at only, again, a dollar. You just can't beat these, guys. If you see these, grab you a few. They have them in various colors, too. You'll see that in my walkthrough as well. But I want it to go for a more neutral tone in case maybe I want it to dry brush over these or whatever. But great deal. Love these. And you see three plants per each one. So that's a lot of flowers. <laughs> But thank you guys for staying till the end. I definitely appreciate you. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Ring the bell for notifications if you want, if you so choose. And if you subscribe to me, I definitely return the support. I may not get to it immediately, but the moment I see it, I go, I watch, and I give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And I try to watch as many and as often as I possibly can. But you guys, I do thank you so very much. And let's see if we can make it to 500 before March. I would love that. And as Ernie Hatmaker says, we're not just building a channel. We are building a community of friends. Not copycat in her, but <laughs> if you read her description box, I'll link her below too. She does a lot of gardening and cooking videos, canning. So if you're into those types of videos, she is your girl for certain. So don't want to leave her out. So I will link her below so that you can watch her videos as well. But thank you and I will see you in the next video.